So on to uh, the binomial then. So our probability generating function is equal to our binomial probability multiplied by t to the x. And we uh, incorporate the t into the bracket. So this tx and this p to the x we can put into the uh, into the same bracket. And now if we look at the summation, um, then again starting for a binomial with x is equal to zero, substituted in as our first term, then we get one minus p to the n. Um, so this is essentially a, a binomial expansion now, okay. Um, term by term binomial expansion. And we recognize this is the binomial expansion of a plus b to the n, where a is 1 minus p and b is equal to pt. So we get our probability generating function. You can replace 1 minus p by q um, in there also. Now, last time in lesson two, we skirted over the proof for the negative binomial because it's a little bit more. Uh, complicated. So um, here we'll take it on. So it's um, the probability generating function is t to the x multiplied by the probability statement for a negative binomial. Now the reason this one's a little bit more complicated is it depends on a summation result that you might not have at your fingertips and I suspect if this one crops up in an exam then they would give you this result to use and to quote. Okay, so you need to be um, aware of or learn or make sure you can reproduce this result. Okay, so for a negative binomial, remember the x value starts at r and we sum from r to infinity and this is our probability formula multiplied by t uh, to the x. Now to use the result above we need to observe that the power of q is x minus r here so we need the power to be x minus r so we need this power to be uh, x minus r so therefore we split the t to the x into t to the x minus r uh, and t to the x so that we can enable incorporating that power. So on the next line we've taken out a factor of p to the r t to the r. So we've taken out the t to the r and we've taken out the p to the r and we can then combine the qx to the r and the tx to the r to give us qt x to the r. And now our expression here is in a format that matches up our standard result from above. So we can quote that standard result. Our Q here is QT instead of Q. So we can quote the standard result and say it's 1 minus QT to the minus R multiplied by PR uh, and TR. And that simplifies if we take the 1 minus q into the denominator that simplifies to pt over 1 minus qt to the power of r which is our probability generating function for the negative binomial so again it's a little bit fiddly in the middle here you need to just make sure um you're careful with the way that, that you um well first of all splitting the the t um and just making sure that you um show good clear organized steps from one line to the next with uh, with that particular proof. So in each of these proofs, uh, the four proofs, um, they are worth just making sure that you spend a little bit of time pen on paper, making sure that you can reproduce them and that you can learn them, okay, just in case they uh, the, the proofs come up in the exam. It might be the case you just have to use the results, but it might be the case that you have to show the results from first principles for a particular values of the parameter, or it might be a case that you've got to do the general proofs. Any of those things could crop up, and it's one of those things that you need to just properly learn.